podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Barry Barber is known as an innovator in his school, but the technology facilitator at South Ashboro Middle School has also caught national attention. Mr. Barber recently talked with Mitch Lewis about winning a 2011 PBS Teachers Innovation Award, one of only a dozen teachers honored across the nation. Barry Barber, welcome to North Carolina Now. It's a pleasure. First of all, congratulations because you are the 2011 recipient of the PBS Teachers Innovation Award, and that was in the category of preschool elementary health. Why did you decide to get involved in this initiative? Well, I'm interested in, in technology and in innovation, and as technology facilitator, uh, part of my job is to find resources that teachers can use in the classroom. And so regularly I'm checking the PBS website, and when I went there I saw the mention for the award and decided to enter. And you had a very interesting project. So tell us about your classroom innovation. Well, I, I created a lesson to teach uh, nutrition and health for a second grade classroom. For my daughter's classroom, she's in second grade at Lindley Park Elementary. So I contacted her teacher, Mrs. Talbert, and told her I had a lesson that I would like to present to her classroom. And she was in full agreement. So I went there, we did all the activities, and it was a great success. So how are your students engaged in this project? Well, I used a clip from Fizzy's Lunch Lab, PBS show, and it automatically and immediately engaged the students. They uh, were, had all their attention. And it served a purpose to activate their prior knowledge and also gave them the background information that they would need to do the follow-up activities that we did on the smart board. So they were in, engaged and they were active in the lesson. Then we put them into small groups and they worked together and they collaborated to write uh, lyrics to a song that we were going to uh, perform for a music video. So after they had their song lyrics written, we went to the computer lab and I took the pairs or the small groups and put them in front of the green screen and videotaped them while the others sat at the computers and worked on the Fizzy uh, Lunch Lab website. And everything was going well, and that was going to be pretty much the lesson until one of the students discovered uh, that you could find a, a, a game on there where you could dance along with the characters. And so she told her friend, and then you know how it spread throughout the lab, and before I knew it, everyone was up dancing and exercising along with Fizzy Lunch Lab characters. And it was a highlight, it was a highlight of the lesson. Now, as a PBS Award winner, and with this project, uh, you ended up getting a few prizes. Also, you had a smart slate, and you also were able to get another PBS learning lesson. But one of the things you were able to do was go to the Henry Ford, the Henry Ford Museum, for a week-long immersion. What was that like? It was, it was an incredible experience. They have uh, an amazing collection of artifacts, 26 million artifacts at the Henry Ford that depict and celebrate American innovation. Uh, of course, there are automobiles, uh, the Model T and the Model A and, and uh, a number of vehicles. But you've got the, uh, um, there's a steam locomotive. There's the, uh, what's it? <laughs> Buckminster, Buckminster Fuller's Dymaxion House. The Rosa Parks bus is there, and you can enter the bus and you can have a seat on the seat where Rosa Parks sat. So it's not only technical innovations, but, but social innovation is celebrated as well. Now, you were telling us you're the instructional technology facilitator, and that's at the South Ashboro Middle School. How important is it to integrate technology with education with students these days, especially in this, in this day and age? Well, in my school system, uh, we believe that integrating technology is, is extremely important. Um, it comes from the leadership of our superintendent, Dr. Diane Frost, uh, the dedication of our lead technology teacher, Marty Williams, through the principals, uh, classroom teachers like Coach Masterson. We all are on the same page that students need these 21st century skills, critical thinking, communication, collaboration. They have got to learn how to use these tools. And although they're natural at using them, they still need the teacher in the classroom to help them get the full effect. Just going to put you on the spot just a little bit, but what message would you have for teachers, especially 
for them to get more involved in the technology of the time? Well, I would say you have to become a user of technology. And, and I know that a lot of people are users of technology, but there are so many resources out there. PBS is a great example. So many resources uh, for teachers to use in their classroom. And don't be afraid to let the students go with it. Because I learned when I did my lesson, uh, once I, let the I put them in the right place, I gave the students the tools, and they took off, and they were doing active learning. And you're talking about the students. As you look at it overall, what do you think that the students gained overall from this project? Well, it was a great experience. I, I know that they were extremely proud that they were able to be a part of this. Um, but they, they did learn a lot about health and nutrition. And as one student can be said, can be heard saying, um, he learned that you can get exercise from a computer. And sometimes we talk about the teacher teaching the student, but sometimes um, or the student learning from the teacher. But there's also the fact that the teacher learned something as well. What did you learn from all of oh, this? Oh, I, I agree with that. Um, you know, it's not so much now in the 21st century that you learn to know, but you have to learn to learn. And we're all learning constantly. And, um, and that's what I took away from that. Barry Barber, you are the 2011 PBS Teacher Innovation Award winner, as well as the Instructional Technology Facilitator at South Ashboro Middle School. We thank you so much. Once again, congratulations and continued success in the classroom, sir. Thank you very much. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.